All right, hey guys, welcome. Hey, welcome back to another one of these uh, near arts, bring arts, near arts, ne no, near automata, bring arts review. Jesus Christ, might as well just be called near arts. Hey, so, hey, so we're, we're, we're telling on the near arts line of bring arts figures, the bring arts line of near arts figures because Square can't stop making these because they realize, hey, people really like near automata, so we'll continue making bring arts so because the player's kind line is dead because no one cares about that line anymore. Oh boy, man, rest in peace, player's kind line. So hey, hey, so hey, so I've been waiting for these two. Uh, I've been waiting. For, hey, these are the two best girls in the in the game. So hey, look at Davola and Popola. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Popola. So uh, Davola and Pop hey, the two best redhead uh, robot girls. So hey, so so first like I was always thinking at the box. The so first off, box. Hey, it's that standard generic Bray Arts uh, near near on a design they use for all their Bray Arts with the. You see their name on the side there, you go, there's a picture name, you see the Glory to Mankind symbol, where the fuck this symbol was called, I don't really remember, and I'm not gonna bother to look it up. Uh, side of the, back of the box, just pictures of them, of stuff you can do, like, hey, here's some poses and everything, so that's the thing, side of the box, nothing else, and that's pretty much it. Really nothing else special with these boxes, so, there's two of them, and I don't really, don't want to deal with opening, looking at both of them in the same video, so why are we, I'm gonna split this into two videos, there's gonna be a video complete day to uh, Davola, a video complete day to Peppola, where I actually review them individually, so I don't have to mush them all together and everything, it makes it way more harder and I need it for me to deal with, so there's gonna be two separate videos, wherever you're watching, you're watching that one, I guess, you go watch the other Twin Sisters video if you want, but it's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing, it's just me in the, looking at each of them individually, so enough about it. Let's actually take a look at the actual figure now. Here's Davola herself, right out the box. And before we take a look at the actual figure, you guys always know how we do on this channel. If you guys did not know how we always do on this channel, we would always take a look at the accessory first. So um, normally in these videos, I would have some, they would, the figures would be on a stupid spitting table, rotary thingy, while I talk about the accessory, but I recently cleaned my house and I don't know where the fuck that thing is, and I don't really want to deal with looking for it right now, so imagine Davola on a table on a little spinny thingy right now spinning around while I talk about um, while I talk about the accessory so uh, that's the thing that's supposed to be happening so uh, yeah enough about it. let's take add the accessory so Davola comes with like just like two accessories honestly if you once you put it so first she gets a weapon she gets the it's the type 3 sword is that what this shit was called the uh, the machine army looking series of weapon the type 3 series whatever so hey she comes with her sword she uses this for like one segment in the game so that was a thing so she can stab people with it it has a little chain, that's nice. They gave it a little chain, that's nice of them to do. Thanks a lot Square Enix for giving us a little chain. Next she comes with an alternative face sculpt, head sculpt, besides what she has a... Uh, don't know what emotion this is supposed to be emulating, but there you go. She's either happy or sad or displeased or whatever you want. So there you go, she comes with an alternative head sculpt. And then um, both she and, um, and Popola share the same hand sculpt. So technically this is for her and also for Popola. So Popola, so these are the exact same hand sculpt, they're just for left and right, so they get hands to hold the, to hold, they get jazz hands, open hand, and sword holding hands, so there you go. These are some hands they got, so they get hands, so above all, she doesn't come with a lot, then again, it's two figures, so it makes sense, I guess they didn't want to go out giving both of them, but again, she didn't have a lot of accessories to begin with, so except for like, except for the type 3 sword she used in one segment. But enough about it, let's actually take a look at the actual figure now. Alright, so here's the Vola himself. So before we take a look at the actual figure, we always take a look at the articulation point for the figure. First, let's see what can she actually do. So first off, her head spins around, so she does have a spinning head. Uh, her hair is very long and that's annoying, so keep that in mind. She does move up and down, so there you go. Uh, torso, waist, upper, upper hip, or the fuck this... This place where her where her fat anime titties are, um, they can move around and she can swivel. So that's a good that's a thing she can do. A uh, shoulder, yep, she has shoulders, and she can move her elbow. Um, this her little bracelet thing is scrunchy thing is loose, so that's cool. It's not stuck in place. I like that. That's nice. That's a good thing they did. Her hands, they move around. So there you go. Her same thing with her shoulder. Pretty much the same thing. She can wave like hello, hello, Popo, where where wherever you are. So there you go. Uh, Legs, yep, yeah, she can kick this leg, so there you go, and she can kick her soccer ball if you were to give her a soccer ball. Her heels, toes, foot joint, yep, yeah, they move, yeah, it's a little up and down swivel, right? Peg, ball, where the fuck terminology people use to describe figures are, uh, so that's on her left or right, I mean, depending on where the fuck angle you're looking at this at, so then, but this leg is kind of, due to her dress, it's, there's not, you got a somewhat 
limited movement articulation on the side due to her the way her dress is positioned but this but her or her knee joint on this side is completely fine so that's good to know so that's pretty much it for her in terms of her in terms of her articulation so take a look at the actual figure now and hey it looks nice she looks good um she got her nice red hair so that's that's really all that about her nice she got her nice red hair she has a little flower in her bow um her dress thing, like I said, this dress thing gets in the way of this leg. So just keep that in mind when you try to do stuff, positioning this figure around. So keep in mind. So, and there's like no, and it's, I mean, you can't technically move it around, but it's really annoying. There's like a little open joint, but that's, 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 I don't want to deal with that. You, nobody wants to deal with that. She has a little scrunchie, so that's cool. That's nice. Uh, her, she has red pants and she has boots. So I don't know, fucking, there's nothing special about this. It's pants and boots. She wears them. So, blah, blah, hey, pretty nice figure. Oh, please don't fall. Oh, you're gonna fall. Oh, oh, please don't fall. Pretty. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, there you go. Let's just stand right there for a second. All right, so yeah, so about, hey, pretty good figure. So in the end, what are my final thoughts? Uh, Devola and Popola's bring arts from Nier Automata. I like these figures. They're pretty good. Uh, normally at this part in the video, these figures would be on a spinning table together while I talk over it, the f talk over them, but I don't know what the fuck happened to that spinning table and I don't want to deal with it, so. Continue imagining the, they're on spinning tables right now, but hey, I like these figures. They're good. These are the best girls in, in, in here. Don't add me with anyone else. I love them. They're, they're the best. Hey, hey, hey. Nevola is better than Popola, all right? I'll fight anyone. I'll fight anyone who thinks any who thinks any differently. But hey, I love them. They're great. Uh, should you pick them up? Just because I'm biased, I'm going to say yes. Pick them up because they're redhead rope android robots, and that's pretty cool. If you're already collecting the near arts line, um, yeah, I'm... You mean you're gonna pick them up anyway? I mean, we're almost we're running out of characters from Near Automata to make into bringers. I guess we got like Commander and all those other side robots to deal with, but uh, I don't fucking know. But but yeah, they're pretty nice figures to pick up. I, I would pick them up just cause no bias aside. I, I like the, I like their design. Their designs are cool. They're neat. They're they're cool and everything. Uh, other than that, there's not really much to sell. They only come with they come with really limited accessories, just two head sculpts and two weapons. But then again, they didn't have a lot to do anyway in the game except be side characters and for that one segment where they fight along with you and that was really random and out of nowhere and that was a thing but yeah for what they are they're, they're pretty good i would pick them up they're cool figures um i don't really know what else to say other than that then size so pick them up um i guess stay out there for some weird creepy anime pictures and i'll see you guys next time okay thanks bye